We've been lied to. The moon isn't the lifeless rock we were taught. Braille mission will use the moon's gravity to help us learn what's inside the moon, all the way down to the core, and how it developed over the last several billion years. It's a dynamic, shifting world with a pulse of its own. NASA's latest research proves it. What engineers expect to unfold after the Twin Grail spacecraft begin their journey toward the moon. The moon's surface rises and falls like a living organism. If you've ever felt like there's more to the moon than meets the eye, you're right. Today, we're diving into the startling truth about our cosmic companion and the secrets it's been hiding for billions of years. Hidden flexing. For centuries, people believed the moon was still and lifeless. It was seen as a frozen world, locked in silence, circling Earth without change. But recent discoveries have shown us something completely unexpected. The moon is not as dead as we thought. It is moving in ways no one imagined. NASA's GRAIL mission uncovered this truth. In 2011 and 2012, two small spacecraft named Ebb and Flo orbited the moon. What engineers expect to unfold after the twin GRAIL spacecraft begin their journey toward the moon. Their mission was simple but powerful. Measure tiny shifts in gravity. The spacecraft flew side by side, carefully tracking their distance with extreme precision. Even the slightest pull from the moon's mass could make one of them move faster or slower, and the change was measured instantly. What the scientists found was astonishing. The moon bends. It stretches and squeezes as Earth's gravity pulls on it. This effect is called tidal flexing. Imagine holding a soft ball in your hand and pressing it gently. The shape changes under the pressure. That is what happens to the moon during its orbit around Earth. Its surface rises and falls by several feet, as if it is quietly breathing. Ryan Park, a researcher at NASA, could hardly believe the results. He and his team checked the data again and again. They expected to find a mistake, but the numbers never changed. The moon really was flexing under Earth's pull. Even more surprising, the movement was not equal across the surface. The side that always faces Earth showed more motion, while the far side moved much less. This uneven behavior revealed something remarkable. The moon's insides are not uniform. Deep below the surface, hidden structures are shaping how it responds to gravity. The moon, once thought to be still, is alive with hidden motion. Two-Faced Mystery For thousands of years, we have only seen one face of the moon. The same side always turns toward Earth, glowing with familiar patterns. But when spacecraft finally showed us the far side, scientists were stunned. It looked nothing like the side we know. The near side, the one we see every night, is smoother in many places. It has wide, dark plains called Maria, formed long ago when lava spread across the surface. These areas create the shapes people imagine as the man in the moon. The far side, hidden from view, tells another story. It is rough, full of craters, and covered with high mountains. There are almost no dark plains. It looks untouched, as if frozen in time for billions of years. Scientists tried to explain this split personality. Some thought the far side's crust was thicker, blocking lava from reaching the surface. Others believed Earth's pull made volcanic activity stronger on the near side. But no single idea fully explained why the moon is so uneven. Now, with gravity maps, a deeper truth is starting to show. The moon's two faces are not only different on the surface, they are different deep inside as well. Radioactive Heart Deep inside the moon, something powerful is still at work. Scientists discovered that the near side is warmer than the far side. This warmth does not come from the sun. It comes from radioactive elements buried under the surface. Uranium, thorium, and potassium are trapped in the moon's mantle. As they slowly decay, they release heat. Billions of years have passed since the moon formed, yet this process has never stopped. It is like a hidden fire that continues to burn, unseen. 
When the moon was young, this heat made the rock softer and easier to move. Lava rose to the surface, spreading across the near side and forming the dark plains we see today. On the far side, where fewer radioactive elements exist, the crust stayed cooler and harder. That is why it kept its ancient, cratered face. What makes this discovery so strange is how uneven the heating is. Most of the radioactive elements gathered on the near side as if pulled there during the moon's violent birth. Why they collected in one place remains a mystery. But this imbalance explains why the moon still flexes more on one side than the other, even today. Precision Detection to uncover these hidden details, scientists needed technology far more precise than anything used before. That is why NASA launched the GRAIL mission with two small spacecraft named Ebb and Flo. Although as small as a washing machine, EB and Flo carried a device that could measure the moon with unimaginable precision. Each one was no bigger than a washing machine, yet together they carried instruments of extraordinary accuracy. The two spacecraft flew close to the moon, only about 55 kilometers above its surface. They constantly measured the distance between them using microwave signals. Even the smallest tug from gravity made one spacecraft speed up or slow down, changing the distance slightly. These changes were measured with a precision smaller than the width of a human hair. With this method, scientists could sense variations in the moon's gravity caused by mountains, valleys, and even hidden structures underground. It was like peeling away the surface to see what lay inside. The data gave them the most detailed gravity map of any world in space. It showed how the moon flexed, where it was softer, and where it was rigid. This map became a window into the moon's secret past and its living present. It proved the moon is not still and lifeless, but a body full of unseen motion and energy. Vesta's Contrast While the moon revealed strange hidden forces, another world told a very different story. NASA's Dawn spacecraft visited Vesta, a giant asteroid in the belt between Mars and Jupiter. Scientists expected Vesta to have layers inside, like Earth or the moon. Scientists thought Vesta would have an iron-rich core, but measurements showed that the interior is almost the same throughout. Heavy metals should have sunk to the center to form a core, while lighter rock stayed near the surface. But gravity readings showed something unexpected. Vesta was almost the same all the way through. No clear layers, no large iron core, just a uniform body from edge to center. This result surprised everyone. It suggested that Vesta's history was more violent than once believed. Perhaps it had been shattered by a massive collision and then reformed. Or maybe it never had time to separate into layers before freezing solid. Vesta's strange simplicity stood in sharp contrast to the moon's complex, uneven heart. Tidal forces everywhere. The same methods that revealed the moon's secrets are now being used across the solar system. One of the most dramatic examples is Jupiter's moon Io. It is the most volcanic world we know, with hundreds of eruptions shaping its surface. For years, scientists thought Io must have a huge ocean of magma under its crust, heated by Jupiter's strong pull. But gravity data told another story. Repeatedly squeezed by Jupiter's pull, hidden magma chambers within Io continue to burn, fueling endless volcanoes. Instead of one vast ocean, Io has many smaller magma pockets spread inside, like glowing chambers hidden in rock. The tidal forces squeeze and stretch Io so powerfully that these pockets stay molten, fueling endless eruptions. Other moons show their own surprises. Enceladus sprays water into space through cracks near its south pole. Europa hides a deep ocean beneath thick ice. Even distant Pluto shows signs of activity. Everywhere we look, worlds that once seemed frozen are alive with hidden energy. Rewriting Formation Models these discoveries are forcing scientists to rethink how planets and moons are born. The old idea was simple. Heavy materials sink to the center, light ones float to the top, and everything cools in neat layers. But the moon, Vesta, and Io show that nature is far less tidy. The moon's near side gathered most of the radioactive elements, leaving one half warm and flexible while the other stayed cold and stiff. Vesta, instead of layering, froze into a single uniform body. Io, stretched by Jupiter, holds scattered magma chambers instead of one smooth ocean. Such findings reveal that violent impacts, uneven heating, 
and chaotic forces shaped these worlds. This means our solar system's history was far more unpredictable than models once suggested. And if our own moon defies expectations, then distant exoplanets around other stars may also hold strange and uneven secrets beneath their surfaces. Modern Mission Implications These findings are not just science for books. They matter for the missions now being planned. NASA's Artemis program aims to bring humans back to the moon and build lasting bases there. To do this safely, explorers must understand the moon's hidden movements. The constant flexing creates stress inside the crust. This stress can trigger moonquakes, shaking the ground in ways that could affect landers or habitats. Knowing where these stresses are strongest will guide where bases should be built. The heat trapped under the near side may also help future settlers. Warm regions could offer energy sources or affect where water ice is found. Both are vital for survival. By mapping gravity with such detail, scientists are not only rewriting the moon's history, they are also giving astronauts the knowledge they need to live there in the years to come. The moon above us is not silent stone. It bends, it breathes, and it still carries the fire of its violent birth. What once seemed cold and empty is alive with hidden motion. For future explorers, this means both risk and possibility. It warns us that the surface may shift, but it also offers energy and resources for those who dare to stay. As humanity prepares to return, we will not just walk on old ground. We will step into an active world still holding secrets. The question is, what else waits beneath its surface?